What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Tegan with another video. So, I decided to do this video outside today. And you, you hear that noise? That's the little AC unit or whatever. But today, I'm going to cover up interviews and how long does it take for you to get accepted at Job Corps. So, for one, for some reason, I don't know if like my page, like when y'all come in or whatever, I can't, I don't know when y'all come in. I can see y'all comments and respond, but like I don't get no notifications to let me know that y'all come in on my page. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. But sorry, so sorry if I respond late or whatever. And y'all, I'm actually outside my crib. <laughs> So, um, anyway, I think, yeah, this is a little nice spot to do the interview. Anyway, um, first of all, how do you go about, you know, a lot of people want to know how you even go about applying. So, wherever you stay at, Georgia, Florida, Chicago, I don't know, wherever you stay at, there should be an actual job course center nearby or like a defects office, an unemployment office, department of labor, where you go and sign up. There should be like some type of uh, city government assistance that should say, hey, sign up for Job Corps. They should have that at the unemployment office when you, you know, go for like job opportunities and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I've lit a lot of people say interviews and I don't know about as far as interviews, but I will tell you how I got accepted. So I was 20 when I first signed up to my first job court. And all I had to do was bring like my social security, um, my driver's license, if you have it. Um, I think you bring a birth certificate, I'm not sure. But yeah, so you bring that information in it and like for the younger uh, people, like the 16, 17 year olds, I think you bring like the parents' income and stuff like that. Um, you go in there, and I was like in a class, and they would give you this pamphlet, this book, like this pamphlet, and it'll give you like the list of job courts you can go to, and it'll give you all this information to sign up and what you need and what you need to bring back. Uh, you need to, they'll give you a certain amount of days or whatever to bring this amount of information back or whatever the information they need from you. Um, or taxes, I know you, something about with the taxes, like if your parents file taxes and stuff like that. Um, sorry if my camera is a little shaky, y'all. I got my little selfie stick, so I'm trying to, you know. So, um, anyway, they do that, and they give you this list. Now, here's the thing. This is what they don't tell y'all. So like your recruiter or your mentor, your advisor, whoever signs you up, they own this contract. And it may have changed now from then, but they own this contract. So the more people they recruit, the more money they make. So if they recruit you, they make more money, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, once they do that, you know, they, they may tell you some like, okay, say if you got a list, okay, say if you got this list, and say you from Florida, but you want to go to Job Corp in California, they can't send you to California because for one, that's not in your region, that's too far, they're not going to send you there, and that's more money that they would have to put into that plane ticket to send you there, they're not going to do that. I know a lot of, I know a lot of students try that, like, man, yeah, man, I'm from Alabama, can you send me to the job corp in New York? They're not gonna do that. But um, yeah, so when you do that, they'll give you a list. And some job corp centers, now here's what they don't tell y'all. Some job corp centers can send you to different job corp centers, but they won't due to a quota, due to a low number. So for example, you live in St. Petersburg, Florida, but you wanna go to job corp in Georgia. And they may say, no, nah, we can't send you there. We got to send you to this one right here in St. Petersburg because, you know, woo, woo, it's because that center, it's either one of two things. Either that center is packed 
with capacity, they got all their people, or they numbers low. And they and they need to have more people at that center. So like that's how they did me one time. But I knew that I had to call the corporate office and was like, man, they ain't trying to send me. I ain't trying to go here. I'm trying to go here. But they can. You just gotta you just gotta reach. You know, you just gotta do some reaching. But they'll do that and they'll tell you, you know, oh, we got these low numbers, we can't send you here because of this. So y'all they be lying. So be mindful of that. But as far as like people be asking me as far as interview goes, you don't necessarily have to do an interview. I know some people, some recruiters, they tell you to dress up like you're going to an interview. You don't really have to do that. They just say that's best for you to go because it's like prepare readiness for a job. Because here's the thing, Job Corp is like, oh, we just want y'all employed. We just want y'all to get a trade. We just want y'all employed. Some Job Corp people won't even look at you to be successful they just want you employed they don't care about your life they don't care what you do they just want you employed so you got to come up in there like you want it you got to come up in there like you about your business now as far as being accepted um it took me about three weeks after i signed up it took me about three weeks for them to call me and was like "Ooh, y'all my nerves bad come out phone my hands shaking <laughs> but it took it took um me about three weeks for them to call me and sign me up you know to say hey you're gonna get somebody from the job course center that you signed up to and they're gonna call you and they're gonna be like hey you know we ready for you to come are you ready and they will give you the, you know more information on what you need to pack and stuff like that and i will upload i will re-upload a video of me telling y'all what y'all need to pack for job court because I deleted that video it's a long story behind that because like I was low-key getting threatened I won't say threatened but like I had like staff members like come like tell me hey you need to delete some of your videos because you know basically it's a bad look for them or whatever but I'm just telling the truth and they were just mad because I was telling the truth but <laughs> so yeah um I will re-upload a video on what you need to pack for job court. But you know, y'all, y'all got common sense. You know, pack your towels, your rags, and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people up there are court ordered. So, like, when you go to sign up, say like, say like you're a young 17, 18 year old. I say a boy. You're a young 17 year, 18 year old boy. And let's just say you go to court, and they tell you. And you know, you go to court and they tell you, you know, you gotta do 18 months in jail, but they give you an option. Ooh, my hand's shaking so bad, y'all. They give you an option and they say, we're gonna put you on probation and you do job court. So you either take that or do the 18 months. So yes, y'all, a lot of people that go to job court be court ordered and they don't tell y'all, you know. A lot of people that go to job court be court ordered or whatever. Um, some of them be homeless. Some of them kids, I won't call them kids, but some of them students, them young people that go there, they be court ordered. And, you know, the, the people that back at home where they stay, say, hey, you gotta go here or else, so you gonna, do, you gonna be in jail. Some kids are homeless. So I keep saying kids. Some students are homeless, y'all. Like I know when I was an ambassador, they brought this homeless baby up there, y'all. He was homeless. And it's like he had got beat up, like somebody beat him up. He had, when he came through, man, when we brought him back to the center, man, he had a black eye. It was bad, y'all. So they, like, that's the stuff they don't tell y'all. It's real, though. So, like I said, I'm not trying to scare y'all. But this is, this happened before he came up there. But my thing is, why would you send him up there looking like that but you know we cleaned them up and we got them we got them situated some people they get their allotment early um some job course centers provide clothing for the for the students because some some students don't have clothes y'all so you know be mindful because you don't know what people situation you don't know what people be going through y'all people be people, everybody got a story you know what i'm saying everybody got a story so you don't know what what them 
Job Corp ain't like college. It's like college, but it ain't like college. So, you know, I think that about sums it up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'll do another video on what you need to pack. But, you know, as far as some people I've told me that it took them a month to get in. Some people told me it took them two months to get in. And I'm not sure as to why it took them so long to get in. But like I said, it only took me three weeks for them to call me. Um, I already had my high school diploma and I already had my driver's license when I first signed up to Job Corp. So I was pretty straight with that. Can I, can I redo this with my left hand? I don't know because <laughs> my right hand got my camera shaking so uh yeah y'all like i said i'll upload a video on what you need to bring and stuff like that you know don't pack no big stuff you know pack your good shoes you know if you ain't got no shoes you know it's all right work your way up they'll get you some shoes you know some some job course centers will really help some of them won't you know like i say some of them look at you like you know they'll look at you like that so, um, yeah, like, I don't know, like with my stuff, y'all, it didn't take me, I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why it took people, why it took certain students so long to get their stuff. Y'all, I'm on this hill and I just like to bust my tail. Oh, Jesus. That would have been funny to y'all, wouldn't it? <laughs> but you know that about sums it up so how to pass an interview you don't pass an interview you just go up there and give them your information and they sign you up and how long do it take should don't take them about three weeks for them to call you and say hey are you ready come on we ready for you especially if they numbers low if they numbers low they sure enough gonna call you Cause they trying to meet they trying to meet a capacity they trying to meet a certain quota of how many students say like this say like this campus got 800 students the capacity is 800 but they only got 300 there. they finna call you all right hey send them up here go ahead so y'all like subscribe to my page show the love comment y'all got any questions you know what i'm saying drop them in the description box drop them in the comments or whatever y'all know and y'all follow me on Instagram at High Supremacy here.